five trees, they're all cut down. This is like a 40-year tree that was wonderful for shade, and we kept busy uh, with the leaves in the autumn, you know. We'll be missing them now. A lot of neighbors commented that, I mean, they can't believe that there's nothing here anymore. And the neighborhood really got hurt bad with the trees being uh, chopped up and with the disease they had. Our ash trees make up about 16% of our trees, so quite a large number. Because of the large number of trees and because of the benefit that they give the residents of Chicago, we want to make sure we're trying to preserve them as long as we can. Today we're injecting one of our ash trees as part of our citywide program to uh, manage our emerald ash borer. Well, the tree IV is a series of, uh, of needles that go into holes that are pre-drilled at the base of the tree. Randy opens up the system and it allows the tree IV then to flow like a regular IV and administers the dose of triage into the, the vascular system of the tree. Once it's inside sort of the vascular system, basically where the sap, the water, all the nutrients flow within a tree, it'll move through the xylem all the way up into the canopy and offer a protection from the inside out of the tree. And we're only required to revisit that tree once every three years. There are some trees that are not treatable, and once the inspector confirms that the tree is diseased or it's reached the end of its lifespan, we'll go ahead and schedule it for removal. We make sure that the trees are posted ahead of time so no one's parked underneath them. First crew on site will be the crew with a tower truck. They get up and they start cutting with a chainsaw. Progressively working through larger sets of chainsaws as the branches get larger. Often we'll take down larger portions of a tree at a time. Whatever brush and material the removal crew doesn't chip up in the chipper on site. We have what is known as our clam truck because it has a big grapple that can come and grab the branches and then load it on the back of the truck or into a semi. And this allows us to really remove a tree very quickly. They don't have to spend a lot of time grinding all the material off. Generally, we're, we remove you know, between seven and 10,000 trees a year on average, and that's just you know, standard operating procedure. The city actually anticipates planting around 5,400 trees. We don't try to, to be overly concerned with a certain number of removals versus replacements at any given time. We're looking more of a, a long-term, big picture type of management program. This morning we're planting trees. Uh, basically we have our crews coming out. They bring you know, a, a trailer load of trees with them and the crew unloads the trees. They start by digging a hole using spades, using picks, and gradually dig down into the soil. Um, they dig everything by hand because it allows them to basically watch for utility lines or also if they have to get a, a bobcat out to break up the roots a little bit, they'll do that as well. Then they'll put the root ball in and they will uh, basically adjust the tree so it is nice and straight. It's important to make sure the trunk is, is as straight as possible because once that tree starts to grow, that's going to determine its, its growth habit for the rest of its life. Um, it's important to put mulch around the base of it in order to uh, help conserve moisture so the tree doesn't dry out too quickly. And uh, it also makes it more efficient when you go to water the tree. So when we're looking to maintain the urban forest, it's sort of a multifaceted type of program. It's, it's you know, removing the old trees, planting the new trees, but also maintaining and caring for all the trees in between to try to encourage good growth and good, good overall canopy cover.